people that keep saying baddies, baddies. First of all, baddies, baddies is not my cup of tea. You see the f that baddies, baddies did to my family? I'm not a prize for fame. Listen, I've been a hood star all my life. My name is Free Bands. F the band lady. It became the band lady because when I was in prison, I bought mommy another house from jail. So Mookie and Terrain changed it from Free Bands to the band lady. I've been a celebrity in the in the city, in the streets. I don't care for that. All that fact. You know what I care about? Wealth. Unity. Love. Peace. Family. Fame is not on my list. I don't want to be famous. I want the money. I've been selling dope all my life, my nigga. I don't do that no more. I really changed. It's, it's kind of hard adapting to not doing the wrong thing anymore and trying to do the right thing. But I'm doing it. But I'm not going on TV. I'm not going on TV to fight this sister or to bash this sister or any of that corny. Corny as f me. Listen, I got paid. I got flew out to sit down with my sisters so they don't fight. It was never for me to go with Sean and be against Tifa. I don't talk like that. Okay, I'm coming in with Sean. But guess what? I'm with Sean and Tifa. Yeah, I'm ready to eat these other bitches. I wasn't planning on I'm going with Kashawn to fight Tifa. Or I'm going with Latifa to fight Kashawn. Corny. Cornball. I'm not a cornball. I'm not a ball. I'm not a meatball. I'm a real So stop playing with me. And if I got to talk about the Nexus, the bag to get on, I don't want that sh You feel me? That's not me. Me, I'm all love, baby. I want us all to eat. You know what the f is doing on the scene of baddies? Whatever, Woody, what is it? Mill, Mill West, whatever. Woody Woo. I don't even watch it. Listen, I was crying. My n they were saying to each other, or whatever, how it, was, how it was coming out. It's like, damn. I cry like a. P I didn't get, oh, I wasn't there to be. Yeah, just be seen. It was, yeah, let's bring Tifa and Kashawn back together. When I left, we was together. Then I was booked. I come home to all this pain killing me inside because we used to all sleep in one bed at one point. So all this separation is really painful for me. But I'm strong, you feel me? Hey guys, back with another video, but before I start, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, you do so, making sure that that notification bell is on with the option all. So when I upload these videos, you are the first one to watch. Also, make sure to leave a comment on this video. So I really don't know what triggered um, Chastity to go on this rant or explanation about the situation with Tzatziki and her sister, but it does give us a little bit more insight of what the conversation consists of, how it went, which it didn't go well, which I had predicted that and told my audience prior to them coming out saying that they did not make amends and it was a very messy situation the day of the meet. She also brought some clarity to why she was paid and sent to go to Zeus Network. It wasn't to be on the show. Um, it's probably going to be an airing that's coming soon. It's obviously pre-recorded, but it'll be something that's going to premiere of the discussion between the two women um, because everyone got a check. So by you know, them signing that contract and getting paid, even if they don't want to go out because it wasn't a good um, outcome, it's going to have to be aired eventually. But she's given some more insight of how it went. She's saying she was emotional. You know, I just don't really buy some time with Chastity selling because we all know that she has uh, stolen from, and I'm going to say allegedly stolen from Christian Rock's fans to, to um, you know, protect myself and my channel even though I know in my opinion that she has but at the same time I'm not going to say she has not been trying to be one of the family members maybe not all of them but one of few that have been trying to you know put together some sort of unity between the family you know but we're not going to blame like you're going to hear her say 
um, in this video that um, maybe this is why, you know, her mother's relapsing. You know, we tend as children, we love our mothers and our fathers, and sometimes they have nasty um, addictions that we kind of sort of defend them with. Um, you know, her mother's sick, you know, learned behavior, wherever she picked it up from, she's going to have to, like she also mentions in the video, she's now in recovery again. But getting back on to this whole situation, it's just, you know, a lot of learned behavior with the whole Malone family, you know, and they really have to now nip this in the bud. And this generational curse that is still going on, history still repeating itself, they need to apply, you know, uh, what they have been through in their life and turn it around like Krishan Rock is doing. I'm glad Krishan Rock is staying away from the noise. We can easily see how things could be fired back up just the other day, um, which pissed me off. Ronnie was back put into the equation because he went on live. He decided to go on live. Just him being on live, the presence of him being on live just triggered this him being a father foolishness and you know and uh Christian Rock is staying away from it you know but we just seem to have family members in particular I mean it's to be expected people that are not you know related to her like commentators like myself but it's family who keeps sparking up stuff that I'm quite sure Christian Rock really wants to leave in the past leave alone so that she can go on what her mission is and follow God and just be in peace and harmony and be able to productively take care of business and her family, which is Krishan Jesus. So cute with my nose ring. <laughs> hey, mama. Come in. No, but like, I'm not for the drama. I'm for love. Oh, yeah, okay. I care about what my mom care, what my mom cares about. My mom, she don't want us to be. She wants us to all get along, Nobody's be pretty, go to church, worship God. Be happy, get money, work together. <clears throat> My mom don't want this. Everybody wonder why she zoned out, taking all these pills. But you you like that because of your mom. Lose her mind. Her kids ain't listening and they all beefing. What you think wrong with mommy? See, I'm getting emotional Excuses. talking about it. I got to shut up because I'm ready to start crying. Wonder why mommy is how she is right now. But look at us. You feel me? We hurting her. We hurting her bad. She carried all of us. And look at this. All over the world. What you mean? Mommy throwing it back. She hurt. Yes. Yeah, and even though my mom is in treatment right now and I'm so happy about it, guess what? What did we do as her children, right? While she was doing what she was doing as a mother, she getting herself clean and stuff. But what are we doing out here for when she come out to her kids that she wants to be together and stop beefing? What did we do? Hmm. And my brother Eugene called me getting on my nerves yesterday. He had a nerve to say, you don't want the family together because he said all this stuff to me. I said, boy, stop calling me with that. Go call the other sisters. Like, don't tell me that. Nobody wants to do that. Nobody care. He said, you. I'm the only sibling that want us all together. Even if it's someone saying they do. Is they putting in work or putting effort? No, I'll be the only one. I'm tired of getting hurt. Keep trying. I give up. But uh, there's so much I could get on here and say. Like, if I was to tell y'all all the I go through and what I be doing for the family and what that be happening to me? Huh. Yeah. Yeah, y'all y'all don't want to see that. Y'all ain't gonna like people. It seems like when things go quiet for a while, um, the first ones I feel like to to notice it is the Malone family. You know, um, you know, just recently, like I said, Ronnie appeared, you know, he's having a drink you know, Friday night or whatever, and then people just stop trying to bring up about him being a baby daddy, you know? And it's like, you know, we go from that extreme, you know, and that goes on and on, and I'm quite sure in the background it stresses out 
Krishan Rock to like now Chastity's getting up here because something must have triggered her. Or something may have been said involving her name. And she's probably really up here really defending her own honor, you know, but at the same time also defending her family. But sometimes some things just don't need to be said, especially when you're in a community, you know, and, and the type of audience that, you know, we cater to, we feed this information to sometime when you start up this nonsense, it just never ends. It never ends. A lot of stuff that doesn't amount up to anything in the world just keeps going around, recycling itself. And, you know, it's not doing anything to um to have people move forward. It's just going to have people backpedaling. You know, it's going to trigger people. You know, it's going to it's gonna character assassinate a person's name and make somebody think otherwise about them so that they're being harassed and stressed out when they need to be, you know, um, on the back end, productive citizens in society and taking care of their families and getting the bag and all of that. But they have to deal with um, trying to, defend their honor because of all of these allegations that are swarming around and everyone's picking a side of who they want to believe when it's not even about picking a side at the end of the day that's Krishan Rock's life if uh to Siki and Krishan Rock are uh, gonna be you know on the fence with each other and not you know sisters and and enemies then you know they're grown and if one day it comes to a point where they see the light, then that will happen, but let it happen organically. Um, but to keep bringing up something that's past tense and that is like a still an open wound, we don't need to really be triggering or, or defending anybody, you know, from a distance that's hearing this, thinking that just, you know, siding with the other. Some things sometimes are just meant to be left alone. Let it just, you know... Clear itself out naturally, the way that it should happen in the universe, and not bring up stuff that really doesn't amount up to anything. So I really don't know why Cassidy brought this up, but she brought it up, and I'm going to let her finish the rest of what she has to say, and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. People no more. Y'all going to be like, oh, I don't tell the business. I'm not bragging about what I did. You see, I love hard. So you see me posting the family. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, oh, give you some roses. Love, love, love. You don't see me. Oh, such and such was locked up. I got him out of jail. I paid every two weeks for him to stay home. I slept in a room with him to keep him home and safe. Made sure he went off to where he at. Did I, did I get on the internet and do that? No. It's I can do and say. And that mother grateful and always hurt my feelings disrespecting me. And that's family. I go through hella shit. Do I get on here? It's a lot of I did. I could speak on. With receipts, I don't do that. And I'm going to stop now. Because by me talking a little bit, like, you know, opening up, some coming out. So I'm going to stop. But, like, what I'm trying to say is, I don't do that weird. I don't do that capping. I don't cap. I'm not a cap. I stand on business. And word is born. I'm a woman of my word. What I say I'm going to do, I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to it. I don't play games. And I don't ever want somebody to do something that's evil and cruddy just for me to feel better. No. And all money, not good money. So guess what? I don't want... If the only way I can get it is to bash family, salute. So, um, as I, <laughs> I was going to say something, but be quiet. Yeah, sometimes people need to take their own advice is all I have to say. All I'm going to say is that I hope that this Malone family gets this off together because Quiet is kept alongside with Blueface trying to tear down Fish on Rock. I feel like there are not all, but many in her own family that are haters and trying to tear her down too. And some of them are even dangerous than the others because some of them are acting like they're out for her best interest, but they're not. They have an alternative motive. You can clearly see it for the ones that are real, realists. And, um, you know, hopefully this generational curse 
um, ceases and desists itself and they can prosper, you know, on their own without having to, you know, depend on the star of the show, which is Christian Rock, to pull them out of their ruts. You know, Christian Rock had to pull herself out of a rut in an unfortunate situation that she grew up in, and I feel as though she doesn't owe anything to anybody at the end of the day, and I don't think that they should be putting these pressures on her um, to do so.